tonight was actually... It was good, actually good. amazing. It went up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Usually, sometimes they're hit or miss, but they actually pulled it off. I don't know how. Tonight was very interesting. So, let's uh, so let's see. What kicked off the night? Triple H had an announcement. Yeah, he pretty much... He was just saying... He was talking about Kofi, how impressive he was he last better, night. He better get uh, an, uh, an opportunity tomorrow. Oh, yeah. And then he was talking about how Becky Lynch showed up with a crutch and whatnot to prove that don't take her spotlight or whatever. Uh-huh. And then he said about DX being the first inductee in the Hall of Fame. Finally, China actually is in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. yeah. And then he was saying debut from NXT tonight, Ricochet. Yes. <laughs> Alistair, Alistair Black. Black. Trying to say. Awesome wrestler. Johnny, Johnny Gargano and Ciampa. Yes, yes, make love to his belt. Yep. <laughs> so weird writing them in a book when you're usually writing it on NXT. Are they going to show up back on NXT? But, and he goes, see a future tonight. And then he's saying about there's a t- going to be up next a tables match. And it's Braun Strowman versus Baron Corbin. Oh, he deserves mm-hmm. he deserves that rematch. Yep. Get these hands. Yeah, no interruptions. No one came out, so that's why Braun Strowman actually won. Oh yeah, uh, that match was awesome. And then, um, after that, Paul Heyman came out and Braun Strowman staring at him, and this is like, get those hands. Yeah, get those hands. And he hands. did. He got him in the throat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He got right throat. And he's just pretty much talking and showing how Brock Lesnar is, really. Yeah, he did two promos saying... Yeah, he couldn't talk first, because he... Yeah, he did two promos doing, like, a do- video documentary of Brock Lesnar's career. Yeah. Something about being on the farm. And then Balor came out. He's talking how it's great to have a title around his waist. And then Leah Rush comes out saying... You don't deserve to be champion. Then uh, Finn Balor gets hit in the back by Bobby Lashley. And then out to help Finn Balor is... Ricochet. Awesomeness. So, it's actually a tag team between Bobby and Leo versus Ricochet and Finn. Shrimp. (laughs) It's funny. Oh, it was actually a great match. That was a good match because Ricochet just puts it out there. Especially when he backflipped. Oh man, that was awesome. Yep. And then Finn kicked him. That was even better. They won. Yeah. Ricochet did, uh, did his finishing move off the top rope. The, that that flip. Yep. What's messed, up, what's messed up is they're mysteriously made up, you know, after what happened yeah. last night. After getting a choke slam. Yeah. And then. Um, Lucha House Party. Yeah, it was Lucha. Lucha, Lucha, Lucha. First. Somewhere, Kerr Hawkins and Zack Ryder. Lucha House Party 1. Of course. Oh, skip it. <laughs> it's not really an interesting match. And then, before that... Wait! Do you think it'll be uh, Lucha... Uh, the, the, um, Zack and Kurt will beat the streak at WrestleMania? Or is it going to be a WrestleMania losing moment? I don't know. Well, anyways. Um, then, backstage. Yeah, there was... um. Drew was talking with Triple H saying how he wants Seth Rollins because with Seth and Brock. And then Dean shows up and he goes, well, I'm not doing nothing. What about me? And then just slaps him in his face and that leaves. That was funny. <laughs> and then Triple H goes, you still sure about wanting Seth? Are you sure you don't want Dean Ambrose? And he goes, pick the match. <laughs> <laughs> but... What about the other backstage moment? Yeah, there was a thing with um, Revival backstage, Bobby Roode and Chad Gable with Johnny Gargano and Ciampa. And Roode and Gable were just pretty much saying that Raw is supposed to be starting at the bottom and work your way up. But why are you getting a shot? And then they're like, well, because we put everything on top. We're good. Then Revival shows up saying, Oh, ha, ha, ha. 
Long time. Long time since we've seen each other. Long time. Yeah, because they used to be on NXT. Yep. And then, look forward to it. But we know we could beat you. Oh, yeah. And, well, Johnny Gargano and Ciampa actually defeat the Revival. And they get a title shot. Yeah. We already know how that's going to go out, but still, it was good. Seeing the NXT guys actually show up on Raw. Just hopefully... The f their fates do not end up like everybody else. Hello again oh, for yeah. part two. Part two. Yeah. yeah, this is what happens when you record using your phone. The ad when once the ads come in, they cut you off. Yeah. So we were we left off on the revival yeah. versus John Johnny Gargano and Tomatsis Champa. Yeah, yeah, the NXT guys won. Yep. And then there was this thing with heavy machinery with interview. <laughs> And oh man, Otis? Yeah. This is funny. funny. And then, of course, Lacey Evans shows up with them, does her little strut up and strut back, and then she looks at them, and then they're like being like bushwhackers going <laughs> up the ramp and up the ramp back. Isn't that, that a rounder? Ashley, isn't that your your the, your your family's like uh, language? Mm. How are you? Nice weather we're having. That girl in the bikini is super tight. <laughs> and then a match. Uh, oh, yes. The match that you were looking forward to. Dean Ambrose versus Drew McIntyre. And, of course, Dean Ambrose lost. Uh, against an idiot. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see. The lunatic got his ass kicked by the Scottish psychopath. Yeah, with two Claymore kicks or something. Though. Claymore kicks. Yeah. Do you even know what a Claymore is? No, nope, oh no, it's Jesus' foot. It's one of those he big, those big long. It's one of those big Poof. long swords that they have over there. And then I guess Missy said the backstage with Saf and Dean. I didn't see it. Yeah, they, they were. He was talking about he's gonna be going out as the champion, no matter if they have to take him out or whatnot. And then Dean shows up. And he's like, where were you out there, pretty much? And his, Seth was saying, what, have you lost your mind? And then he just went, eh, and then he walks away, <laughs> kind of. So Dean's like, I'm so, a crazy lunatic, what an ass, no. Are you sure he's a lunatic, or does he, or is he bipolar? <laughs> Which I can say, because I'm partly, I partly do have bipolar. Uh, bipolar. Or is it schizophrenic? Oh. Yeah. Where does say. Dean Ambrose fall in the spectrum? Well, in Ashley's eyes, hot, sexy man. <laughs> yeah. And then there was uh, ba Bailey and Sasha. They're just pretty much out there talking how they got their moment being the first ever woman tag team, pretty much. And everybody's saying that you deserve it, whatever. And this and that. Of course, we all knew they were going to win. We knew oh, it. Yeah. We knew, everybody knew that they were going to be the first first champs. If everybody knew they are going to be the champs, then technically, uh, yeah, they worked hard for it, but it kind of takes away. It's almost like um, eating, uh, eating a stick of gum. You're chewing, 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 you're uh, taking in all the flavor, but then after a while, it just becomes bland, and then you just spit it out. Mm. And then Nia Jax and Tamina come out and say, oh, nice matching outfits and blah, 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 yep. and whatnot. I'm, I'm, th I'm pretty much getting right. They want the ti they want a title shot, pretty much. I think they oh, deserve yeah. it. Kind of uh, Nia Jax and Tamina could. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My dad would like that. <laughs> Missy Jax. <laughs> My dad, he said last night <sighs> that Missy is Melissa Jax. <laughs> he, called, he says, bonehead. Because <laughs> he is a bonehead. But anyway. The main event. Whoa, wait, we didn't have the main event. I called it too early. Nope. And then there was another debut from NXT, Justin's favorite. Oh, let's see. First, it was uh, Elias. Yeah, and he's death gonna, with Elias. He's gonna play his. Uh, he's gonna play a concert, but he got interrupted by Alistair Black. Yep. Oh, did, boy, did he ma uh, make Elias fade to black? Yeah. 
really bad. Yeah, walk with a li- uh, walk with Elias got hit with a black mask, and there you go. Yep. Not good. So yeah. Sorry, Elias. Bye bye. <laughs> So is that the running though, gag for Elias even now? Even though, like Missy said, Def Elias. He is Def Elias when he went fade to black. <laughs> is it the running gag with um, Elias? He tries to play a concert or what, what, what not, and he gets interrupted. I don't think he's ever going to be able to play at all. No, nope, he always gets interrupted. Well, didn't he get to play, play while he was face? One or twice? Mm-hmm. Hey, Tammy. Oh wow, you've already forgot. Because he lies and not that good. I don't remember him that much. Well, let's go to the main event. Yeah. Um, our, pretty much a rematch from last night. Ruby Riot versus Ronda Rousey for the Raw Women title. Of course, you obviously know Ronda Rousey won. Twice. With an arm bar. Ruby really. I mean, she she put herself out there. She, she t- tried to have her little posse help her a little bit in the match to get Ronda distracted and get some hits on her. But they failed. Yep. Ronda's too powerful. Her power level's off the scale. Because uh, she put Ruby in a corner and then, like, did something and then, like, did a flip and had her right in the arm bar or something. You know what someone should do that anybody. Here's the little meme. Have Ronda, anybody who challenged Ronda Rousey, have them end up at the end of the match in the the dead Yamcha pose. There you go. There's your meme. Who and could who could challenge Ronda Rousey? And then, of course, at the after the match, Lucas so tried to go in front of Ronda, but yeah, that didn't turn out too well. Oh, we totally forgot. What? Uh, last night, with the Ronda Rou- the Ronda Rousey versus Ruby Riot, Ronda's costume. Oh. She was dre- she was cosplayed as Sonya Blade because she plays Sonya Blade in MK11. Yeah. Yeah. Which is actually kind of cool, in a way. Yeah. And then also, there's gonna be a next next week. There's gonna be technically a- she did, she did, she did kind of go uh, go out of her way because she ended up ble- end up bleeding in the end. When yeah. Becky Lynch showed up. Boop, 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 right there. Oh, yeah. All right, what were you saying? Next week, I guess there's going to be a Ric Flair birthday celebration. So probably oh, Ric Flair's going to be there. No, we Woo. already know. <laughs> woo! Woo! Probably Charlotte, too. And well, brother. Double woo. Well, well, woo. well let's woo, see. Woo, woo. Well, let's see. Let's see how many ki- How old is he? I don't know, 70? <laughs> I don't know, really. I don't know. Because he's old. Well, basically, he has to devour the souls of that many children in order to stay alive. Yeah. Technically, the way how he looks, he looks thousands of years old. I wonder who else is going to show up for his little woohoo birthday. Probably, probably be Charlotte, of course, and maybe Triple H, maybe. I don't know. Or Rand. Uh, Rand. Bring back uh, no, no bring back down. evolution. It might be evolution. <laughs> Even though Randy's on SmackDown. That's what I mean, SmackDown. They're probably going to show him on SmackDown, too. Didn't, besides Raw. Didn't Dave Batista disappear? Yeah. He disappeared in the Vendors of Infinity <laughs> Bye-bye, Batista. Oh, no. <laughs> but anyway, that was Monday Night Raw. Wait! What? We forgot about Kevin Owens. I oh. See, I don't care about him. <laughs> Well, that's quarter potty. He was out of movies with his son. Yeah, that's quarter bar. potty. So he said something about three weeks he'll return. I wonder what he's going to do. He's yeah, probably going to debut coming out of his toilet potty. <laughs> here he comes. Hi, I'm I'm sorry. He comes, you know, he comes back and here goes Braun Strowman. He's scared and poops his pants. <laughs> That'll never happen. Who can make Braun Strowman shit himself? Comes out of the porter potty. Braun Strowman pushes him right back no, in. No, I said Kevin Owens poops himself when Nick Braun Strowman shows up and sees him. Do you right think they're gonna? Uh, do you think Kevin Owens is gonna come back? Come back as a face character, or is he gonna come back as a heel character? Because usually, I don't know. He was heel all the time. He, I don't think he ever was a face. Wait, how many years was he a heel? Uh, Let's see. Um, probably like three, four years. I don't know. And what well, about his so-called buddy? Sammy Zane. Sammy Zane, they said he's coming soon too. Yeah. 
Yeah. Both can end up in the porta potty. But then again, yeah. what characters have we seen could pass up as face? Oh, that should stay face or heel, or they actually, no matter what, it's still good. Like Dean Ambrose, heel or face, he's still he's still entertaining. Seth Rollins goes either way as a heel or a face. Kevin Owens, I can't see him as a good guy. Nah. We always for the like the last. Missy sees him in a porta potty. Yep. Then you got Sami Zayn. Yeah, he's a good guy, and then he went bad. Get these hands. Sami Zayn is bad as a heel. I'm sorry. I don't like him. I don't like him as a heel. I don't like him at all. He's a loser. I mean, it's just. Here's the thing. No. Sasha Banks goes back and forth every now and then. Yeah. But it's like, which is better? Bitchy, bo uh, bitchy boss or nice boss? Mm. When the hell are we gonna get badass Bailey? Yeah. I'll give hugs. Sometime, but not soon know. enough, I guess. Well, I don't know. It all depends on what goes on with these titles, too. You don't know. Usually, tag teams they uh, have little split ups. And then you get well, it goes to their heads. Well, Charlotte, Charlotte. However, that's a, a role for a heel. It's the flair. Yeah. But yeah. How did you feel for my night roll? Did good. you like it? Did you like it? I, I thought it was all right. I yeah. give it an A. Yeah, it was. It was good. Oh yeah. It was amazing. Especially with Ricochet. Ricochet and. Gargano and Champa. And are they officially no? Are they officially in uh, WWE now, or are they just it's a preview? Um, I don't know. But we're gonna end up seeing them I, back on NXT till the shakeup. Maybe I know this week Johnny Gar is it Johnny Gargano? Yeah, it's Johnny Gargano. It's going against Velveteen Dream for the North American Championship. That could be an interesting match. Yeah. But then again, there's tomorrow, which is SmackDown, which I believe that Kofi might get another opportunity, he but should. Fastlane. Kofi should. He should. He, everybody was on their feet. He, think about it. If Kofi actually becomes champion, it would boost up his career. Plus, it could actually be a storyline for the New Day, because in the New Day, uh, Big E and Xavier Woods can actually go for the titles, and they could be just like the new Shield with their titles. Yeah, anything could happen. But then the belt will their belts would end up becoming pancakes. Oh god! Or they end up when they come out, they serve pancake-shaped title belts for the fans. Biggie pulls it out of his ass for the kids. <laughs> Here, here's chocolate chips on the pancakes. No. Ugh. So. Gross. Oh, God. And we all can't forget. And we Foy all know the we syrup might come from somewhere else. Yeah. We all can't, for <laughs> we all can't forget no. fighting, with my f oh, fighting with my family. Oh, yeah. That looks like a good movie. Oh, yeah. Well, let's see. Wasn't it produced by The Rock? And it's supposed to be Paige's story? So it's supposed to be like The Wrestler? Yeah. But Paige? Did you ever watch the movie The Wrestler? Has anybody remembered or watched the movie The Wrestler? Did ya? Mm -hmm. I did. It was the same guy that... Did. It was... The the main guy was the guy who did... Uh, who was Whiplash on uh, Iron Man 2. I can't, I can't remember... I can't remember the name. I know the face. But it was actually a good movie. It just shows what happens to older wrestlers. They have to do the... um. The uh, high school gags, uh, the high school matches, and all that stuff, and all the the stuff with it. It's actually a good movie. All right, so so, but Paige looks like that, but more comedy. Yeah. And if it actually turns out good, then and it actually is, then The Rock instead of doing movie, instead of being in movies, he starts making movies. Yeah. But then again, there's The Rock's other movie. Rock has lots of money. Of course. He's more movies now. P 
put The Rock in My Hero Academia. We want to see him as All Might. Well, we know what he's gonna be when he's all big buff. I want to see him in this the shriveled up, the shriveled up form. Just skinny face and a tiny, uh, thinny, thin, thin, anemic body. Yeah, that would be fun. And then he has the bunny ear hair. I figure out how they do that. I don't know, but but then again, wasn't he supposed to be in a Johnny Bravo movie? I don't know, but. Video's getting short. Why so, didn't you tell me? I can't. I don't pay attention to the thing. So, let us know how you thought of Monday Night Raw, what you thought about it, and we'll go from there. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.